Emmanuel Bohr running 1305, another breakout. There's just a, it's like a, it's kind of like when you miss a three pointer and then another team makes a three. It's like a six point swing, right? Because you could have had oh, yeah. up three, but now you're down three, right? So six point swing. So that's what it feels like. You have Emmanuel Bohr coming into the picture with a, a great performance and Paul Chalimo showing some vulnerability. Seems like a big swing in the dynamics of the Olympic trials 5K, right? Adding a new name and a name kind of feeling like a little bit dropped. Uh, that's my reaction. I mean, I don't think – I mean, Paul Chalimo has done enough that he's allowed to have this type of race and not be considered washed. But um, you would think it would have been the opposite. You would think Paul Chalimo runs to 1305 – and Emmanuel Bohr runs the 13-12, and all is right in the world. But we got this result, and now it it makes the 5K more interesting, right? We Paul Chalimo becomes less of a sure thing. He probably is a sure thing, but he's just a little bit less of a sure thing. And now Emmanuel Bohr enters the picture, and you know I'm sure the likes of Lopez Lemong, you know Hassan Mead, Jenkins, all these 5K guys are thinking, oh, okay. Got a little bit harder to make this Olympic team. And the Bowerman folks as well, the other Bowerman folks, not just Lamont, yeah. but also McGordy and Fisher. Fisher okay, yeah. yeah. Chalimo looks vulnerable, but now there's a new name. There's Emmanuel Bohr, who had a 13-10 PB coming in, so it's not like he wasn't going to be a factor at all. But this is a big step up for him. 32 years old, his best finish at a USA championship came in 2018 when he finished fifth in the 5,000. So this is by far his best result on the track, number two time ever. I'm with you on Chilimo's allowed to have a bad one. Where I would be concerned is that he's had a couple ones that in a row that have not been great. You have to go back to basically this time last year when he won uh, US indoors for his last, okay, that was a great race. Now, that's not entirely fair because of COVID. People didn't have full seasons and stuff. But he did lose that cross-country race to Mason Furlick. He had that road race where he was targeting the record. Didn't get it. But for Paul Chalimo, two meets this year matter. He's at the level where two meets matter. And it's the trials and it's the Olympics. And everything else is gravy. So if he gets right, if he can find his way out of the team, and then when he's in Tokyo, make the final, he's going to have a shot. To medal. That's all that is important, I think, for him. He's at that level. This is a much more significant result for Bohr just because it signifies to him, hey, I'm I'm now I would say he's probably a favorite to make top three. We need to wait a couple days to see these results uh, from from the, the Bowerman guys because maybe they'll run 1258 and that'll change our whole opinion on the pecking order in the 5,000. But I think you look at beating the favorite by over five seconds, and then running a 13.05 indoors, what other conclusion can you make with someone's resume well, like that? 